Hey everybody, Josh RV Nerd here at Halo RV of Goldwater, Michigan with a 6,800 pound, very different kind of Catalina bunkhouse today. Uh, this is the 303 QB and technically QB, C, K, L, E, X, Y, Z, L, M, N, O, P. All those letters kind of mean something. It's roughly about a 30 foot uh, box size camper. It has uh, quad bunks in the back. It's got a very interesting kind of L bunk arrangement that even though it's called a quad bunk, I think it could actually sleep five, which is cool. Um, you've obviously got a private front bedroom, big living room, super slide. And this whole floor plan strikes me as different. Take a look with our floor plan in a flash. It's like they took a normal bunkhouse and turned it inside out. And I don't know how else to describe it. I think when you go through the video and watch with me a little bit, you'll see a little bit more of what I'm talking about. It's like every room is somehow twisted 90 degrees and then flipped upside down and then flipped inside out. It doesn't make any more sense to me than that. Catalinas have great service records with us. I like the taller ceilings. Uh, the enclosed bellies give people a lot of confidence. There's a lot of really good qualities about this one. I don't believe this will necessarily be for every single person that, you know, gives us a look here at Halo RV. But I, I think this is going to catch some people the way that like the kitchen, the living room are all arranged, then having those very private front rear uh, sleeping quarters, very separated with doors, not curtains, not sliding panels, but an actual door that you open and close. I think I think this one's going to work for a lot of people. And I tell you, the lighter, brighter decor in here and that taller ceiling, they always make me like how just kind of nice and open and airy these feel. Catalina's is a fine brand. Now, so much of this floor plan is just, it just doesn't follow any normal rules. Like, you look at pieces and parts of it and they look familiar, but this is one of these really odd job kind of Franken campers. It's not exactly like anything else. It's similar sometimes to some things that you've seen. And I want to start by just kind of canvassing the living room here real quick to give you a full view of it. And then I think I actually want to jump back to the bunkhouse behind us right now because that's i think one of the major focal points of this floor plan and i feel like i'm watching the shining right now one of those little stanley kubrick you know walking down the hallway kind of perspective things here but when we get back into this bunk room take a look at this this is different this is cool it can give you a lot of the function of a two slide bunkhouse like a 323 or a 313 catalina here at halo rv but it does so without the weight and cost of that second slide out. Now, none of these bunks flip up. These are all fixed bunks. Uh, but what you get here is like up top, you've got an eight foot long bed. So that's what's kind of cool. A lot of Catalina bunkhouses do something like this where they're not just kid friendly. They can also sleep an adult, which I think is a very, very cool distinction right here. Great airflow windows all the way around. And then down below here, you've got what I like to call the Catalina Battle Cubes. And um, they get kind of a bad rap, but I don't understand why. And, and maybe I just see them different. Take a look at the way that I see them, because I think that they can do just about anything. Or, frankly, you could get rid of them and do whatever you wanted. And this is one of the secrets of this floor plan, the convertible kind of Catalina Battle Cubes. And you'll see why I call them that in just a second here. They each fold out individually. So if, you know, the kids need a lounge space, if they need a, a rainy day gaming chair, you can do all that. Uh, you know what else you could do with this pretty easily? Because they're not bolted down. You could take them out. This could be pack and play friendly. And if you're a little bit creative, you could do something like maybe just dislodge, remove that top bunk. Although recommendation, keep that hardware for when you're done with it. And you could probably convert this into an office without a whole lot of work because things like those extra household and USB plugs are just begging you to make a desk. Actually, take that bunk, you could drop it down to the layer of the lower bunk and congratulations, you have a desk. Just add a chair. It's uh, just that simple. And note too, have you noticed how all of the windows open for airflow? Nice touch. But no convert -a cube tour from Halid RV would ever be complete without taking a look at the Catalina Battle Fort. Now remember, the password to Fort Badalina is Freckleberry Kool-Aid. 
So sometimes it's just a matter of perspective. And if we change our perspective, when we climb down here like one of the kiddos on the uh, Catalina Cube Fort thing, whatever you want to call it, you get a look at the opposite wall. You've got some dresser storage there. You could use some of the bunks for more storage if needed. You could remove one or both of the Catalina Battle Cubes and come up with your own kind of arrangement. But you've got some cool entertainment space here. Um, if you choose to add uh, entertainment for the kiddos, you could. But you know what that kind of made me think of? There's a lot of families I've met during my career. I've been doing this for about 12 years. I've met thousands, thousands of people, guys. And there is a, uh, a group of RVers that nobody really talks about. There are a lot of people who have either like a, uh, a mother-in-law, a father-in-law, or a special needs child, sometimes an adult child, who needs a private sleeping space like this and being able to set this up with their own entertainment space, but being able to do it without the budget of like a 40 foot fifth wheel, I think that's something very powerful to consider. Now to give you a, a point of perspective here again, just a reference point, if we're walking out of the bunkhouse, you've got that hallway, which again, I think it is cool that this camper has like a hallway. It's got kind of like a household feel to it. And like a lot of household hallways, we have ourselves a bathroom in here. Now, with Catalina being 6'9 and having a skylight, you're going to have to be awful darn tall for a headroom to be an issue in here. And that's a picture of me at 6'3 with boots and hat as a reference. Uh, skylight and shower surround paneling are standard in a Catalina. They are optional. A lot of other brands. Watch for those details when you're shopping around, guys. Easy step-in shower is yet another feather in the cap of maybe having not just kids camping with us, but also um, an adult or a you know large child who maybe has uh, potential, or even yourself, mobility issues. You got a, uh, a bad hip, a shoulder thing. This is going to work. And you're going to see all the way through the camper, whether it's here in the bathroom or uh, up in the kitchen space, you have sealed edge uh, counters throughout. And is it the greatest amount of legroom I've ever seen? No, but does it... Did it fit me? Yeah, it, it fit me pretty easily, actually. Now, jumping back up to our living room here, you see how the entertainment center, it is angled, but that TV pivots out uh, so that, you know, you always have a good view of it. So whether you're sitting on the sofa where the, it's already pivoted or if you need to turn the TV more to the dinette, everybody gets a good, easy look at it here. Now, you, you see over here, they're kind of giving you a simulated cinema sofa with that kind of middle folding armrest right there. A couple cup holders is something I appreciate because I always like to have a drink close by, but I rarely, like, I I don't know. I, I just, I don't want to have to get up. I'm lazy. If I'm sitting on the couch, it's because I want to sit on the couch and have a drink of something or other, you know? Also, you see those giant pillows. My wife calls them husband smotherers. I don't, I, I mean, I don't even, does that even make sense? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> um, another interesting note on that television. If you're looking, what you don't see is like a stereo. You don't see like an entertainment unit, a Bluetooth DVD thing. The TV is an all-in-one. It's a TV and soundbar combo. You can always plug in like an HDMI whatchamajigger to the back of it if you want. And notice how uh, above that optional electric space heating fireplace, they have added uh, space for you to be able to do exactly that. Here's a cool thing, though. This TV gives us true dual zone audio. So off the TV remote itself, what you can do is have separate uh, audio entertainment going on inside and outside of the camper. So if you need to be playing, you know, a Pixar movie for the kiddos at the dining table right now, bam, got it done. If you uh, want to be listening to some crunch tunes, brother, on the outside of the RV, we can do that too. And that electric heat and fireplace down there, uh, again, it is optional. Normally, you'd have a little more cabinet space there, but you're going to see in just a second, this RV has plenty of cabinet capacity, and that gives us some free bonus heating without burning up our propane. And it just kind of looks cool. And what's interesting here is the pantry location on this one. Kind of sharing some space with that interestingly angled entertainment wall. And this is what I mean by everything is like, it's like shifted a little bit in this camper. You've got a lot of the same things that you find in a lot of other RVs. You just find them in a little bit different arrangements. Now, it's going to sound funny, but I actually like how the shelves are nice and deep, but don't go all the way up to the uh, uh, door jam right there because it gives you place if you want to hang like a little broom hanger or something like that. You could do that. And I, I tell you, I always try to be fair. And um, if something's not as I would prefer it, I point that out. And I, I would really welcome some feedback. This blank wall right here, I understand that because it's next to the refrigerator, it's not like they could just go screwing stuff through it, lest you punch a hole through the refrigerator, which is not a good idea. But I do feel like, man, I wish there was something here 
to hang a jacket or something like that. And I think the very first thing I would do when I bought this RV is I'd put some, uh, some really heavy duty command hooks right there just to be able to keep my kid's coat or like an umbrella or something handy and right there. I think that'd be very useful. Last year it was optional, but now that 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt DC compressor fridge has become standard. Um, up top here, you also see that like, a, uh, you know, say like a Cherokee, like a J flight, uh, you've got like a, a skylight up here, but Catalina is doing an interesting thing. They are actually going ahead and installing a simple power vent fan, which is better than no power vent fan. And if you wanted to upgrade that to a larger power vent fan, because Catalina went ahead and did the wiring, it's going to cost you pennies compared to dollars. And uh, that, that's a welcome feature. The legacy Catalinas here at Halet RV, we will often upgrade to a larger 15,000 BTU central air unit to keep you comfortable. One other quick note on the uh, Catalina 12-volt fridge. They're the only ones I've seen doing this. Like, all these 12-volt fridges have some way to turn themselves off. But Catalina goes, we can turn you all the way off. Because most of the time you're not actually turning them off. You're putting them in standby. So now I can make sure I can straight kill that thing if I want to. All of the pock, or uh, pfft, yeah, I just shot myself in the foot. Awesome, terrific, well done, Josh. All of the cabinetry is pocket screwed. And I love how, since this is a taller camper at 6'9 instead of 6.5 like a lot of things, it's giving us room to add a shelf up here. Now, pocket screwed cabinetry, if you don't know what that means, this is called the cabinet style. Take your fingers back here and feel it. You can actually feel grooves where it is double screwed together. And what that does is, in theory, it holds everything together better long term. That being said, stapled cabinetry, I don't see fall apart. But what I really feel pocket screw cabinetry does better is the tightness. The fit and the finish of the cabinetry in Catalinas is always on point, baby. They are never gappy and sappy. Easy reach outlets, household and USBs actually. And again, all sealed edge countertops. I popped one of those sink covers off because uh, you notice if you slot them in place, you get like full on good sink space and that is a big farm sink below the sprayer faucet for easy access. And note too, all the countertop space here actually has some very easy access storage below. And actually, I just had a thought. Looking under that sink, I noticed there's no space for a wastebasket. So I think I would either put a wastebasket there in that interesting space. What would you do with this space space? And then uh, either that or over here. Now you might go, why didn't they extend the countertop all the way to the wall? You'll see when we close the slide, you can't do that because you would start crushing stuff. Now over here, a couple things. You see the uh, all plywood box drawers and they got them down to the floor. Very similar to like a Jayco J flight that we have at Halo RV. And that makes sense because a J flight and a Catalina are like built almost identically. It's kind of funny. Two very different companies came up with what they both feel is basically the best way. They both have good service records. They're both doing things a lot of the same ways. Makes sense, huh? <laughs> um, sink, or not sink, utensil organizer. And then I wanted to point this out. You look down in here, like in the bathroom, you didn't see any towel hooks or, or rods or anything. All that stuff, they ship loose because no matter where they install it, the owner says they did it wrong and they're dumb and put it in the wrong spot. So they uh, let you choose where you want it. Now, um, if you don't want to have to install that stuff in your camper, I get it. If you let us know where you want it when you buy your RV here from Halet RV, we're more than happy to assist you with that. That is just no big deal. So I think we've nailed it. Let's head up to the bedroom here before we uh, close the slide or step outside. Uh, we've got uh, wide open side stands. So if you're claustrophobic, Catalina's a very friendly brand for you. And you'll see that both sides of the bed have household and USB outlets. Additionally, normal hanging closets, normal overhead cabinet storage. The uh, Catalina bedroom is nothing new. It's nothing you haven't seen before. It's just simple, easy, and effective. Because that's what camping's supposed to be. The way they see it, you're going to spend most of your time in the living room or outside you're not going to spend a lot of time in here, so they don't go too crazy over the top with everything. One thing I do like those, they just give us a nice little flickety flack switch. You want to kill the lights because it's bedtime, you can do that. Now, there's a couple lights above the bed, but uh, you can reach those, uh, you know, when you're laying in bed if need be. So they give you a switch for the ceiling light because eh, it's tall. And here at Halet RV, one of the things I really pride us for is our willingness to always shoot a customer straight, sometimes even when something's not awesome. Like when the super slide's closed on this one, you will lose access to the bathroom, bunk room, and bedroom. And that's not like the coolest, happiest thing I'm glad to share, 
but it is fair. It's true. I'm not going to lie about it, and I'm not going to hide it. Not many dealers are willing to go to this extra extent for you. That being said, if what you need to do is uh, get into the camper to pack up the kitchen because you like to leave your clothes, like you've got dedicated camping clothes for the camper already in there, but you might need to stop. You might need to make a sandwich. You might need to pack up the fridge. Those things you can do in this camper very easily due to the way that Catalina was really smart and said, let's put the drawers so that they open inward instead of toward the dinette because that would be dumb and then we would lose them. And if you're noticing, Catalina is like really a full function first and fashion second kind of brand. But at the same time, I certainly don't think they look ugly. I mean, the updated exterior on these legacies, especially as we wrap around the nose, absolutely gorgeous. You can see the optional stable steps that we've applied to this one. Those don't have to be there, but we've just found a huge demand for them. And like I said, the paint job on the front of that extra thick aluminum nose sweep, man, that's hard to beat. That thing looks amazing, doesn't it? Uh, you've got a simple battery disconnect down there below the nose of that too, so that when she's in storage, she's not eating your batteries alive. Power tongue jack has since become standard. Uh, you saw earlier the underbellies enclosed. You may have noticed we have magnet holdbacks on the baggage doors and all of these windows nicely tinted to keep the sun shine out. Now jumping to the back side of the slide out here, you see how there's that wiper seal? Then there's another wiper seal inside of there, plus the bulb seal on the inside or out. These always have triple slide seal contact when they're open or closed and double seal contact uh, when they are, you know, on the way in or out. You've got that seal gripping slide wall to make sure it really does a good job for you too. Now that is the type of slide system that if you need to open it a little bit halfway, and then walk through the camper to get to the bedroom or the bunks or the bathroom. You can do that without damaging the slide, but you don't want to use it like that. And I, and I don't recommend doing that like if it's raining because you just don't have maximum seal potential in that case. Roof is fully walkable, plywood floor decking. The construction here is really not much different from almost anybody else in this class. What I do like here is something that Cherokee is also doing with that 200 pound folding cargo rack. You can see that we added the spare tire on the back here. I hope you never need it. And folks, when you are shopping around and price comparing, if you find one that's just a dollar cheaper than what we have at Halet RV, ask yourselves why. There's probably a good chance that they're including some kind of dealer fees that we don't do at hit, uh, Halet RV. They just haven't hit you with them yet. They might not even be including things like the bigger air conditioner, the spare tire here. You've got to really check the details. But behind that, when you get to your destination, Catalina does something a little different with their camp uh, shower that I really like. Almost every outside shower has a little clip like this, but usually it's mounted in the outside shower door. But rarely is it actually in a position where it's going to be at all useful and you can see right here you can actually make it a little bit more like a camp shower uh, up top there you got that backup camera readiness those are things we can assist you with here at Halet rv and as we work our way around the side uh, this is absolutely one of those like most improved features on a catalina from the previous season i will admit I wasn't overly impressed with the Catalina Camp Kitchen last year, and they have since stepped up in a way that I think is, this is one of the best low profile camp kitchens that hides under a bunk I think I've ever seen. You got your mini fridge to go along with the big fridge inside, and that being able to have drinks out here, ladies and gentlemen, to keep people from walking in and out of the trailer all day, some cold snacks, oh, that is so useful. And their griddle here, instead of the little Coleman camp grill, they're actually running a gas grill quick connect now. They include the Suburban uh, Elite Griddle Series here, but what's neat is if you're looking at it, it actually has a safety lock. It won't just fly in if somebody bumps us. You're not gonna go splatter and knocking stuff all over. And giving you a little bit of prep space and also acting as a heat shield, you've got a galvanized rolled steel shell over that. The old Catalina Barley Poppinator 37 series right there for the barley waters next to some nice storage space. There is no such thing as too much storage in a camper. I know somebody being funny will say, hey, there's too much storage in this camper, and I love it. Please keep that kind of silly humor coming. Outside TV hookups, little leash latch, which is good for more than just pets. You guys, it's, it, I don't, it's breezy. It's super windy today. You just can't see it because there's no trees in the background. It is super windy today. 
and uh, keeping my patio furniture from flying around. I'd, I'd, I'd tie it all down. That would work well for me. Those are aluminum wheels, by the way. Um, they just don't use, I think, the fanciest looking aluminum wheel. But it, it, I've seen other aluminum wheels on Catalinas. They don't look right. That is the one that does look the best. Then you see that fender trim right there. I love that. And I'll tell you why. Because it's never going to get uh, faded from the sun like plastic. It's never going to get brittle from the sun. It's ever going to wiggle and fly apart from wind buffeting. It's, it, you know, it's as close to foolproof and long term as you're going to get. And that is really kind of just what Catalina does. One other neat note here is their awning has one of those like 16 color multiple strobe and swell pattern kind of jobs. If you just want to leave it on one color, you can. But if you want to kind of just spark up your little space, have play some music outside, have a little patio picnic party, Catalina going to get you done. So I figured the back of the camper was the perfect place to end the back of our video. <laughs> and if you've appreciated uh, a little bit of fun, all the information along the way here, leave me some comments, let me know what you see, what you'd like different, any questions you might have. And short of that, uh, remember we're family owned and operated. Love the opportunity to earn your business when you're ready and it doesn't matter if you live near or far, these things are on wheels. Um, we can get them delivered all the way to the west coast or down south, no sweat. All we need is a phone call and the opportunity. And if that sounds fair in return for our efforts today, then give us a ring. It doesn't have to be today either. You don't have to call only when you're ready to buy. If you need a little more help getting there, if you're not sure what your vehicle can tow, all that kind of good stuff. It's what we do at Halet RV. Information overload, and when you're ready, no hidden dealer fees. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halet camping, everyone.